All right, ready? Hey guys, this is Charlie with g and Armament at SHOT Show 2020 with Gunfire. And we're gonna be checking out the new products coming out this year from us. And uh, we're gonna start with this row here. What we have behind me on the top rack is our Cobalt Kinetics gun. And uh, really excited about this. This is already out. <coughs> and uh, what's really unique about this, it has an auto drop magazine where once the last BB is fired, the magazine will automatically drop and you'll be able to do a faster reload. Uh, one thing that uh, if you think this is a kind of like a gimmick and you don't want to lose your magazine, there is a feature where you can deactivate it and actually uh, not have that feature uh, be, you know, having your magazine come out. So that's another plus side. Uh, the, mag the technology is, is inside the magazine, so you know, don't really have to worry about, uh, you know, only being on restricted to this gun only. Uh, you can use the magazine on other branded uh, guns as well too. And moving down, we have the SBR 308. So we have the Mark One and Mark II. And what's really unique is that we have a short barrel rifle. A lot of our 308 platforms are long rifles, uh, more designed for outdoor play, but a lot of players have been asking for indoor arena, kind of friendly, CQB friendly gun. So we decided to kind of shorten the barrel and the rail to make it kind of a nice SBR look. This one is more catered for a 9.6 uh, nunchuck battery where you could kind of see the flare for a nunchuck uh, as opposed to the one below. You see it as a 11.1 light bulb stick battery that fits nicely here. Uh, right below that is finally the highly anticipated SMC9 that finally got released uh, in the US and pretty much I believe in Poland it'll be available pretty soon in the next month or so. Uh, so make sure you check out gunfire.com to make sure you have more uh, information on this and details. So, uh, down below, you have the GC16 Predator in Kylie Brown. Same great build as the Predator, uh, just a different color. So, uh, moving along, this is probably like the most hated and loved, depending on what your take is, gun for 2020. This is our SSG ones from from us. Uh, we will be featuring this uh, with a uh, pre-installed MOSFET electronic trigger unit, programmable for a three-round burst and a nice polymer receiver and the stock actually goes down so what that allows you to do is if you're wearing a dye mask or a paintball mask you're able to have a better uh, line of sight and have a better cheek well against the stock as opposed to having a fix where it's kind of hard to see down your your optic uh, all of them will be available in different colors as you see and pricing and availability won't be released until later in the year Moving down, we have our ARP9 version, but for the AK platform, so you have the PRK9, the uh, PRK RTS, and the PRK L, uh, 9L. Uh, we are displaying this with the drum mag. It will not come with the drum mag uh, for the long barrel rifle, but we're just kind of showcasing that it, it. we are working with the, uh, it will come with the drum mag uh, sold separately, and you can you know, interchange that with the, the RTS or the PRK9 as well, too, if you want to have a nice compact CQB gun. So. Moving down here, we have <coughs> part of our, our, our newest uh, gun for 2020. This is the Japanese Type 64 rifle. Uh, we've kind of done attention to detail. We have the like Japanese markings, the flower as well too. Um, it has an optical sensor inside, which is located inside the gearbox. And there's an actual remote that will come with the gun that you'll be able to program your three round burst and five round burst accordingly. Uh, real wood, uh, nice metal, uh, very good fill for this. No pricing or ETA just yet, so make sure you stay tuned for more information. And now we're gonna be moving down this way. Or you wanna pause it? Here. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. All right. All right, so now moving down to our pistol line, we've kind of, as you can see the whole wall, it's pretty immense, it's, it's pretty big. So we're really doubling downing on our pistol line, uh, coming out with a lot of different uh, colors, a, def a lot of different grips. Uh, so we'll start from left to right. We got our GPM-92 pistols here. They, they were out uh, released earlier, maybe uh, 2017, but we updated them with the version two, version two with the GP2 will have a hop-up adjustment uh, tool that comes with the pistol and you'll be able to adjust the hop-up right outside. You don't have to remove the size, similar to the GTP-9 pistol frame. Uh, we did come out with a nice like uh, nice gold bling bling color on the GPM-92, which is gonna be a limited edition and also a kind of nice two-tone uh, stainless steel and gold as well. 
And moving down, we have more of a competition style pistol. So these are kind of similar to the high kappas, more for competitive play. And we have in different colors and schemes. And moving this, moving down. We have our Piranha series, which has a fixed slide, which what this really helps is uh, makes the pistol shoot a little bit more accurate and more consistent, whereas most typical pistols will have kind of have that uh, the outer barrel kind of flare up a little bit when, it, when it's shooting, where this one it's going to be fixed and stock, uh, paired with our technology that we incorporate in our pistols. Uh, this is going to be a very, very good performer out of the box. And then uh, lastly, we have our GTP9, which later on you can convert to our SMC9 if you'd like. Uh, one small change in detail in production. Last year we announced the GTP9 Rose Gold. We had more of like a plastic finish on the very top of the frame, but we decided to kind of make it more of a metallic look to it to really give it a nice pop and really good feel of um, just externally as well too. And then lastly, as you saw, that's the C9. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on social media whether they have to buy the whole gun or is the kit sold separately. So uh, we will offer the kits sold separately. So if you have a pre-existing GTP9, you'll be able to buy the kit itself, which is just this upper frame here, and then just sliding your lower frame of GTP9 into that. So if you have a GTP9 rolls gold or a tan or a gray, you can have a nice two-tone SMC9 looking like uh, rifle. So as always, guys, thank you for checking us out. This is G&G &G at SHOT Show 2020.